Hey guys, I'm Jana and welcome to another installment of Stay Inspired. So in today's episode, I'm going to show you exactly how I edit one of my wedding images to make it have that like light, bright, romantic vibe. Cool. Let's get started. This photo is one that everyone just loved on Instagram and asked if I could show how I edited it. And so I just wanted to show you guys how I made this photo um, light, bright, and airy. So as you can see, I took it indoors um, with some nice window light coming from behind and above. Um, I used uh, my 35 millimeter um, Sigma art lens, which I'm starting to fall in love with. It's um, amazing. So my ISO was at uh, 640, um, my aperture was at 2.0, and my shutter speed was at 1 over 125. Okay, so when I pull this into Lightroom, um, the first thing I'm going to do is go to um, remove the aberration and enable profile corrections. Um, so as you can see that I'm not exactly sure like you know what that does but I feel like it like it's going to take care of any distortion so definitely if I'm using a 35 millimeter or 24 to 70 I'm going to do that first um, and I'm going to head over to my preset which is what I use on all of my wedding photos um, and then I'm going to take the highlights all the way down and I'm going to bring the shadows really far up so pretty so nice. Great. So my little trick um, is to look at like where is the light coming from. So I have the light from this window hitting this wall, which makes it light and bright. But I don't have any light hitting this wall. So I'm going to show you what I do for that. Um, right before I show you, I just want to share with you um, a new app that I'm using called MacFly Pro. So this is an amazing app that keeps my computer just running brand new and super fast. And um, it's so easy to use. So with the Smart Assist, it's gonna tell me like right off the bat how many files I have like in the trash, um, how, many, how much um, space memory I have available. Um, then when I go to Systems, as you can see, it shows, it gives me all my information about what's in the cache, the logs. Um, I go over to leftovers, it's going to tell me temporary files, trash, it's going to let me know right away about my memory. One of my favorites is the duplicates because I can um, see if I have duplicate videos and photos and documents um, and then I get to actually review those files before I um, get rid of them, which makes me feel really good about knowing what files I have deleted and not. So I've been using this for about a month now and um, it's definitely been amazing, super easy to use, and it's keeping my computer running like new. Um, so um, back to the photo, I just wanted to um, share with you guys how I am going to make um, this wall look light and bright like this wall. So I go to the selective tool and I go here under custom and I'm gonna to want to dodge. Um, I'm gonna bring my density, I had it at about 35 and make my um, brush pretty big. And I'm just gonna start like painting this wall because I want, I wish, you know, in a, in a like perfect world, there'd be a beautiful big window um, over this side too. So I'm just gonna start painting this wall and anything that I feel like could use a little light and brightness. As you can see, it's not doing that much. So I'm gonna come over and like play with my exposure and then I can see. So I can bring it down and everywhere I've painted is gonna, you can see how it's affected. And when I bring it up everywhere that I've painted, you can see how it's affected. So I'm gonna to go to new and I want to do the same thing. So I want to go to lighten, but with this one, I want it to be um, maybe a little, the density be a little lower because I'm going to go into the dress. Nice. I'm just painting her dress and then I'm playing with the exposure of the dress. Good. And this again, like how beautiful would it be if she had like a beautiful light source in front of her? We didn't have... Um, of course on a wedding day you guys know how it goes um, 
you don't have reflectors all the time and you don't have the light source like exactly where you want it. But, um, but, uh, but if there were, if there was the perfect light source, I just try to imagine like where that light would come in. So I'm just trying to paint her dress a little lighter, pretty. Nice. And um, I'm gonna darken his suit a little bit because I like that contrast. So I went to the burn hole. So I'm just gonna darken it. One other thing I'm gonna darken is this beautiful chandelier up here. I definitely wanna see the nice detail in that chandelier. So I don't wanna lose my detail even though I'm going for like a really light, bright photo. Definitely don't wanna lose the beautiful detail. I'm gonna go to Dodge Toll one more time. To lighten this wall up just a little bit more. Pretty. And now that um, I have this lightened really nicely, I'm gonna go to exposure. I'm gonna see if I wanna play with it. I kinda like that. I like it a little bit lighter. I find that um, on social media and Instagram and Pinterest and all that, like a little bit brighter is um, usually does really, really well. I'm gonna go maybe one, two at the contrast, like super small. And I'm gonna do one more little thing, which is back to the custom with my selective tool. And I'm gonna go to soften skin and I'm going to just soften the skin up on her arm just a little. And let's see how that's looking for before and after. So yeah, as you guys can see, that probably only took um, a few minutes and it's just such a light, bright, beautiful photo that just is so inviting and gorgeous. So um, this is how I do a lot of my wedding photos to make them look light, bright, and airy. Awesome, so I hope that got, that helps you guys and um, don't forget to stay connected. Definitely follow up on the blog, that's janetfromalabama.com. Um, connect on Instagram, Jana Williams Photos. And definitely I put a link for the Mac Flab Pro app just like right here in the description. I definitely recommend it. It's gonna help get your Mac running super smooth and change everything. Okay guys, so until next time, stay inspired. Bye.